Hello friends, welcome back, and I hope you're all doing great on the Daniel Fast. I don't know about you, but I get tired of eating the same things, so I was doing some experimenting and came up with this recipe. I love it, I hope you do. So of course I'm gonna have the recipe broke down in the description box below for you, but I'm gonna start with my brown rice, and I always season the water with vegetable bouillon, even if I'm not on the Daniel Fast, I just don't like plain rice. So I wanted to try this coconut flour. I've never used it before. And I asked some of you and uh, I got a response that it's a very thirsty flour. So that got me thinking. I wanted to use it with tofu. I wanted something that's gonna soak up the extra moisture in the tofu. And you'll see that I've got it sliced very thin and I had it sitting on a paper towel to kind of drain off the excess liquid. And I actually had it sitting there for about an hour. So I wanted to get it as dry as I could. So I would say, as always, use the seasonings that you like, that your family likes in this. I'm just giving you a guideline with what I did. And you're literally watching me kind of make it up as I go. <laughs> so I broke my tofu into pieces like bite-sized pieces kind of similar to maybe a small size chicken nugget um, or smaller pieces that you would like if you went to a Chinese restaurant would see the size of the chicken pieces in like a sweet and sour chicken um, but yeah I just uh, put it in a liquid and then dredge it in a seasoned the seasoned coconut flour and then fried it until it was kind of crispy on the outside and I did fry it in a coconut oil and got it to the consistency that I liked. To me this was very similar to like a fried chicken so and it tastes so good. My husband was really surprised that it was tofu so yeah I used the vegetables that I thought would be good in it. Um, so I would suggest, you know, use what you guys like, but uh, I just cooked up my veggies and a little bit of olive oil and just until they were softened, I didn't want them completely soft. I wanted a little bit of crunch to them still, but uh, you guys cook it how you like. But um, yeah, this is, naturally sweet with pineapple, the sauce that I make to go with it. So I really like that. My husband really liked the pineapple in this too. And he doesn't normally like pineapple added to anything, but he did, he really liked it. He said that it was fun. That's what he called it. So um, I do set my faux chicken aside and cook my veggies and while they're Softening up a little bit is when I make my sauce. So I would definitely suggest, you know, use what you guys like. Um, the two main things that gave this the sweet and spicy, it's more of a sweet and spicy flavor, is the pineapple and the uh, red pepper spread. And it's a really pretty spicy spread and I got that at Costco, so it was definitely a great find. My, my husband questioned when I bought it, but I'm glad that I found a good use for it. So I'm using ginger as well. Um, I just wanted that added flavor. Plus the ginger and the garlic are very detoxing for your body and uh, the spiciness is gonna help in weight loss or speeding up your metabolism. So I'm actually down six pounds so far. So there it is. Um, I just plated it up like that and in layers and then put the sauce on top of it. It is so, so good. I'm probably gonna have this for lunch today because this is what I made yesterday. So anyway, I hope you guys like this recipe. I hope you're doing great on your fast. And as always, I hope you're having a great day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.